Indiana University East Physics P120 and Physics P125 Energy and Power Quantitative Aspects As we have discussed in the previous video we have introduced the concept of power which is measured in watts and that is the amount of energy in joules per second so the power is the amount of energy used per unit time in everyday life however it is sometimes more convenient to define the unit of kilowatts and then determine the amount of energy by rearranging that previous equation so that we note that the amount of energy is equal to power times time. As a result, the, we have the kilowatt hour, which is the amount of energy that's expended or output by a system which has a power of one kilowatt in one hour, where one kilowatt is 1000 watts. For power stations under such light, quite often the amount of energy generated is measured in the megawatt hour. And to do that, we need to recognize that there are 1000 kilowatts in a megawatt. The kilowatt hour is the most commonly used unit in electricity bills, and when the man comes to read off, your electricity meter here like this what they're actually reading is the number of kilowatt hours used to date so they read off what you view what was used at the end of last month and then they come back and they measure the amount of energy that's used from time in memoriam to the end of this month and then they figure out how much electricity you used in a month. Let's look at a more mathematical example and we want to calculate the number of kilowatt hours of energy you use if you leave a 60 watt light bulb, that's a pretty common light bulb, on all month, 24 hours a day and assuming we have 30 days in a month. So to do this we need to calculate the amount of time, right? And we need the amount of time in hours because we got the kilowatt hours so I need time in hours I need the power in kilowatts now the time in hours okay I have 30 days and each day there are 24 hours and therefore 30 times 24 is 720 hours. Now, 60 watts, and I divide this by 1,000 to convert from watts to kilowatts to get the power to be 0 0.060 kilowatts. Therefore, the amount of energy is equal to 0 0.6060 kilowatts times 720 hours and that comes out to be 43 kilowatt hours another commonly used unit especially in nutrition is the calorie. You need to be careful though with the calorie. You have to always use the capital C because this implies 1000 calories with the little c. So if you plug this into Google, and that's how I've in the handout I've mentioned doing conversions, and you just type out, say, 16 calories to joules say you need to make sure you use the capital and it will call it the kilo calorie that is perfectly normal there are 860 calories of a big C in one kilowatt hour 
So what we want to do next is kind of a silly exercise, but let's go over it. Is I've got this nutritional facts label, right? And I know that one serving contains 250 calories of energy. So how many servings of macaroni and cheese contains the same amount of energy as we use by lighting up a 60 watt light bulb in a month? Well, we know that we have 43.2 kilowatt hours. And I would just type this in into Google. 43.2 kWh to calories. Note that you need to have the big C here. Okay, and what I got was the number was 37152 calories. Okay, and we know that one serving. Of macaroni and cheese contains 250 calories of energy right so the number of servings is 37152 calories time and we divide by 250 calories per serving and that comes out to be about 150 servings. In other words, if I leave a light bulb on all month, I need to basically burn, and because of inefficiency, I need to actually burn even more than 150 servings of macaroni and cheese or 75 packs of macaroni and cheese to keep it going.